Like Frosty the Snowman in the Bahamas, some faulty Xbox 360s are literally melting down while running certain games. A big holiday headache from Microsoft, but Nintendo and Sony appear to be grinning like elves. Jane Wells and Jim Goldman on Duel. Duel. Duel spelled Whoa. like you're fighting. Coverage, Jane, let's begin <laughs> with you. Uh, Aaron, uh, this isn't a new problem, but it may be getting worse as hot new titles get lots of gameplay, and this happens. Three red lights. Ah, the red rings of doom signal that your Xbox 360 is fried. Microsoft hasn't specified the cause, but users say the console's cooling system just can't take the heat of a lot of play. Gamers like Jason Bean have been blogging about it. He says Microsoft's been great in sending out a box for him to ship back his Xbox. He just has to wait. Mine just crashed this holiday season. Uh, my son's birthday is coming up this Saturday. We were going to get him some new games. Um, but with the Xbox out of commission, getting him a game he can't play for another three to five weeks is pretty much of a downer for him. Ah, but one fix may not be enough. The Betcher brothers in Minneapolis play a lot. And they've gotten to know Microsoft tech support uh, quite well. One Xbox has been sent back three times, uh, which would be our fourth Xbox. The other two Xboxes were sent back once, so we're on our second Xbox on each one of those. We sent one back that had, uh, couldn't read the disc and it was freezing when you started it. So we sent it back, get one back, turn it on. It didn't even work. Then there are the self-help videos on YouTube. You're going to need some towels for this. Ah, and the famous towel trick. You wrap the Xbox to get it really, really hot, then let it cool, and bingo, it works. Ethan Lavoie in Los Angeles, though, found out that works only temporarily. It worked the first time, but then when I, uh, turned, I turned it off and came back the next day and tried again, it didn't work. He eventually sent his Xbox back to be fixed, and while we were there, the refurbished Xbox froze up. Jim Goldman, how does this play into the big picture of the console wars? Yeah, you know, Jane, overheating Xboxes and now this uh, new lawsuit seeking class action status, exactly what Microsoft doesn't need as it tries to compete with Sony and Nintendo. Now, court papers against Microsoft and game developer Bungie Studios allege that the blockbuster Halo 3 game isn't compatible with Xbox 360. So incompatible, in fact, that it keeps crashing game systems. And judging by the comments in the blogosphere and inquiries to the law firm handling this case, the plaintiff is not alone. What could be a major black eye for what is arguably the biggest game title release in the industry's history. And attorneys smell blood. We have uh, a number of consumers who have contacted us, in addition to Mr. Nunez, who have returned the game three, four, five times. Uh, and it, they keep encountering the same problem. Uh, that, to us, we would respectfully submit as the kind of issue uh, that is ripe for class action adjudication. Now, for Microsoft, consumer complaints and a lawsuit could not have come at a worse time. The company admitting over the summer that Xbox did have problems, setting aside that billion dollars in extending Xbox warranties. Now, Microsoft today won't comment on this suit, saying more than three million people have enjoyed Halo since the launch, offering overwhelmingly positive feedback. All this as competitors still gain ground. Nintendo enjoying its best week ever in console sales last week, which included Black Friday, and Sony seeing huge increases in its its PlayStation business. Well, it's obviously a concern because Xbox, although still not material to earnings, is pretty material to the multiple that Microsoft gets and certainly impacts the stock. So from a stock perspective, obviously something we have to watch. From a fundamentals perspective, not a whole lot of impact on the financials. It is a concern, though, that if it pushes, it continues to push out profitability, which has been, you know, a big goal for Xbox. Yeah, indeed a concern. If Microsoft thought these problems died over the summer, the company may have declared mission accomplished a little prematurely. Mark, back to you. Okay.